Hey guys, it's just a camera, and I am in the capital city of Washington State. And then this right here is the port. We're gonna get some pictures like we always do. I mean, some shots, some video. I'm gonna do a take here of the port entrance, see if we can get some of the signs, etc. Looks like uh, they specialize in logging. That seems to be what they have most of inside there. Here are your standard scary signs. That bird's like, I don't care. I am authorized. Oops. Not holding the camera, sorry. I'm, I've got it on a tripod and if you don't have it loosened up just enough, you can't move it very, smooth, very smoothly. Ooh, that's pretty serious. Darn, they went CFR with it. Ooh, shoddy camera work, man. Firearms, knives, explosives, hazardous, toxic aerosol spray, and or fuel not properly manifested. IAW 3 or 3 CFR 5. Okay, I don't know what that sign says. That sign says something about the gate being closed. Restricted area, keep out. says unauthorized entry constitutes a breach of security oh, I just got goosebumps Let's see what kind of restrictions we have here twig required will you accept the twix instead they're like yeah just don't tell anybody currently operating at Marsec level one boarding the vessel or entering this facility is deemed a valid consent to screening or inspection. I think we read that one already. 100% ID check. Does that mean they check 100% of the ID or they check 100% of the people who come in? I'll let you guys figure that out. I submit it to you for your perusal. Let's get some of these cameras. weather pretty standard wide angle they don't seem too fancy uh, unlike the place yesterday I was at which is UPS I haven't uploaded that one because it was boring what are the odds beautiful okay 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 the port of Olympia. The big old truck bringing in some logs. Some big old logs. I just default to my Texas accent whenever I'm talking about manly stuff. Manly. Bringing in these logs. See what the process is for checking in these logs. I just dropped some logs off myself. That's what took me so long to get out here. I had to patronize the public restroom at the uh, at the bus station. Almost went into the women's restroom. That's how bad it was. Because um, I saw some other guy go in there and do that. And I was like, well, hey, you know what? That's right. You're whatever gender you think you are. So let me just be a woman for 10 minutes. 10 minutes and 37 seconds to be exact. Pretty town. Pretty town is my first time actually stopping in Olympia. I've driven past on the highway and seen the Capitol building from afar, but I've never gotten um, never gotten this close. I've never gone into the city. Oh, whipping a Yui. I feel like someone's about to come talk to me. But I don't need to answer their questions Cause I'm on a public sidewalk Ain't that the truth now? Man, those trees smell so good I'm getting in touch with my inner beaver right now I just want to go chew on those, on those trees They just 
so freshly cut. You can smell the pine. You can smell the pine, and it's pretty rich. It's a rich, strong pine smell. All right, guys. I need to skedaddle if I'm going to make it to the uh, Capitol building and City Hall. Uh, I saw a sign for City Hall just a minute ago, so uh, that's where I'm going next. It doesn't look like um, we're going to get any uh, any angry people or law enforcement response. This is actually, a, by the way, a very nice town. Um, a lot of older people, I noticed, unless it's just what day it is. Um, but yeah, a lot of older people out. Having breakfast, lunch, brunch, whatever it is that, uh, that they eat. And um, just enjoying the day. So I don't think a lot happens here. I would have thought that maybe that would have made for a... Excuse me. <coughs> for an exaggerated reaction. But uh, it might be just the opposite. You know what I mean? Um, so there's the final shot right there of the uh, Port of Olympia Marine Terminal. Um, yeah, just going to carry on, look for anything else. So we should continue on with the next uh, next audit, trying to get several squeezed into this afternoon before I got to go back and do some editing. <sighs> I think the sneeze came from the um, some of the uh, Albertans that are in these trees right now. I don't know if they have mountain cedar up here. But that's what we had down in Texas, and it was brutal. I mean, it was brutal. Oh my gosh. Oof. Not sure if this is a nosy citizen or just someone who's playing around on their phone. But anyway, these are nice shots, aren't they? Nice little town. Nice little friendly town. Friendly people. There's a tasting room. You get to go in there and lick the carpets and the walls. And, uh, and give feedback. I don't know, man. This carpet is a little too fuzzy for my tongue. And uh, some of the paint came off when I licked the wall. Is that... Oh, no. That's somewhere where someone else has licked before, sir. It's starting to peel off. So, yeah. Probably want to skip that tour if you're with the kids. I'm not going to be tasting any rooms. I like to make one horrible, cheesy joke per video. So, there it was. All right, guys, for real now, I'm actually uh, tapping out at this point and ending the feed. We are out. And just like that, guys, looks like we have contact. <clears throat> hey, how's it going? I had one of the truck drivers let me know that you had a camera. I didn't even... Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, you're, you're, you know, allowed to take pictures of stuff. You just can't take pictures of the port. I'm just letting you know. Actually, I can. Uh, if it's visible to my eyes, then I can take pictures of it. That's the way the law works. What? Well, but you're, you're welcome to, you're welcome to believe that if you want. That's and, what I've been for. Yeah, and call whoever you need to, but I'm just letting you know I'm from a public space. Yeah. If I can see with my eyes, I can record it. I can't go on your property and record because then I would be on the property and I'd be consenting to being searched, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. But whatever my eyes can see, I'm allowed to record. That's U.S. Constitution. So, right. yeah, yeah, that's that's my stance. I'm just letting you know. All right, that's actually yeah. important. That you're, no one's allowed to photograph. You can't you can't control what people do on the street. It's impossible. You can only control if you guys have a policy that says you cannot come in here with a camera. Totally fine, no problem. Yeah. But from the street, because otherwise, anyone can drive by with like a dash cam. Yeah. They can make several passes and have a super zoom lens. It's just not something you can control, unfortunately. I, I know where you're coming from. I totally, I appreciate it, but yeah. Public photography, man, it, it covers. I get you. Yeah, yeah, military bases. You can go into FBI buildings. You can go into city hall, all that good stuff. Yeah, I just let you know. Okay, appreciate you, man. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. I was literally just wrapping it up. He said he didn't even notice that I had the camera. Oh, and I was late to go check the truck in. I decided to just go ahead and educate him on the First Amendment so he can look it up. Um, I don't know if anything else is going to come of it. We'll see. He may or may not call someone. Um, so we'll see what happens. Just some local signage. should be like taking candy from a baby. 
I can't imagine that they would have any issue whatsoever with uh, public photography here at the Capitol building. And I don't know what this building is across the way, but it looks cool because it's got a bunch of flags. So we're zooming in on that. And there are all the flags. I recognize a few of them. Not all. Some look totally weird and some look familiar. Don't know what that one is right there. Never seen that one before. Weird. But yeah, huge Christmas tree. I'm sure they light this up during Christmas. Or maybe they don't. And if they don't, maybe they should. Perfect Christmas tree. And there she is. Does anyone know the history behind Capitol buildings? Like, why do we have Capitol buildings? What's the meaning? What, what, is it, what does it all mean, Basil? That's what I don't know. I haven't looked it up. I just know that most big cities... I mean, we all know they have a Capitol, but I mean, they have a Capitol building. What is it for? So this thing's huge. There's so many different departments. I'm going to walk up and see what I can see, and then um, probably move on to something else. I feel like these, this is probably a super burn, burn, burn target. But uh, we'll find out. Okay, see you in a bit. So this uh, headstone here is in uh, loving memory of the four brave screws that gave their lives holding up a piece of a slab of concrete and uh, they died peacefully in their sleep and uh, this is in loving memory to them they wanted to be remembered in death the same way that were they were in life screwed fully screwed all the way through a life of service being screwed rust in peace guys rust in peace Okay, moving on, here comes the state capital. This is called an obelisk, I believe. And it's erected in gratitude. There's just too many jokes there for me to even start. Oh. The Temple of Justice. Wow. That's pretty serious. I don't know what's in there. I'm assuming like courts. Maybe. And then here behind me is the actual Capitol building. But it says legislative building. I guess that's what it's officially known as. This is the legislative building. It's recording some of the detail here before I walk up the gigantic steps. I heard someone say one time that the reason they build these buildings like this is to make you feel small and insignificant and like you're bad and government is good. So they have these big, huge, high ceilings and everything is just gigantic to make you look, look and feel small so that you are intimidated by them imposing their will upon you. You know, just a little tiny peon blue collar worker. I'm coming into the great palace, the great hall of justice with all of its, you know, really it's just where hundreds and hundreds of crimes are committed on a daily basis and millions of our dollars are stolen millions and lining the pockets of very very corrupt city officials who are involved in all manner of illegal activity while they uh, lecture us every day all day long about how much trash we throw away how big our apartments are how we shouldn't have guns and how we should do everything that they say and how uh, we should talk just the way that they tell us to talk and use the words that they tell us to use so, just, just all more part of the programming. All right, going in, going in, guys. That was visible. Right on.
boy, JFK. Look at the four, you guys, on the clock. What happened to IV? Can you guys spot the time traveler in this picture? That's right, him right there. Time traveler. And that's his proof. He brings girls to show him. Our boss is not allowed. Imagine you're putting a sign there where you work. Boss is not allowed. Supervisor is not allowed. Only employees. No supervisors, no bosses. You don't get to see what we're doing in here, boss. No. There's the man himself. So we pay some of the highest taxes here in this state. Um, even when you buy something on Amazon or on any, any internet merchant that you use, as soon as you type in your zip code and it's, it detects Washington State, it tacks on an additional 10%, the better part of 10% to that sale. So if something's $500, you're gonna pay $50 in taxes. So the idea and the concept of seeing where our tax dollars are going is a very real, that's a very real one for us here in this state. And unless you are an illegal immigrant or a meth addict, you don't really get to see where the tax dollars are going. Those are the two protected God-class citizens who get all the benefits and all the money and uh, basically anything that they want. So we'll see if we're allowed to film in here. I'd highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. Even if it's visible to my eyes? Yes, even if hmm. it's visible, you cannot be recorded. Can you cite what law that is? What was that? Can you cite the law? No, you cannot. So, you kind of put me in a bad position there, man. It's okay, because I think... If you're going to enforce a law, you got to know what it is. There's someone we can ask? I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm not enforcing Okay, anything. so it's a request? So then I'm going to deny your request and go ahead and keep recording. Unless you can cite the law, in which case I'll go ahead and comply.
I don't think there was any need to linger in there. I made my stand, made my point, and then moved on. Let's try Secretary of State, see what they have to say. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? All right, thanks. Good. It's just a lot to absorb in one visit, so I'm saving it for when I'm really <laughs> bored one day and yeah. want to just go back and read some of it. If it comes out that good, I don't know. Yeah. Well, also with the exhibit, um, we have a lot, like the full profiles online on the website. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, eh, I may or may not. Yeah. It's cool when you record it yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, the kingdom, I remember that. Back in the day, it was the kingdom. Oh, I forgot it's Friday. You guys have one foot on the dance floor right now, huh? <laughs> There was a state patrol vehicle sneaking around the parking lot when I came out. I'm uh, wondering if maybe that guy didn't call in his buddy or supervisor so they could beat me down, teach me a little lesson. Did you be mouthing off to us, boy? What the hell's wrong with you? I just gotta say about that encounter real quick. The hilarious part is that <laughs> this is the state of Washington. The bust of George Washington is everywhere. Flag. Uh, plaques, memorials, ceremonies, it's everywhere. It was on every single door, it was on the elevators. It's, they're obsessed with George Washington. The state is named after him. Yet they don't respect the fact that George Washington was one of the writers of the U.S. Constitution. That gives me the exact right to do what I was doing. And this cop is gonna arbitrarily tell me, sir, you can't, you can't turn your camera and face that direction. You can't record the back office. Really? What would George Washington have thought of that, buddy? My problem is I don't get angry in this situation, you guys. I have this, I mean, it has to be very egregious, like you've seen the military video. I don't get mad enough. I don't get mad soon enough or 
mad enough for the situation while it's happening. It happens later. Um, like I say, unless it's very egregious, then it just kicks right in. But in a situation like that, man, I should have like just dressed that guy down. Like, are you kidding me right now? You realize that this state is named after, I should have just given, I just should have gone on like a manifesto. And I heard the guy talking to the office employees, asking them, do you feel like, do you want to be recorded? Do you consent to being recorded? I should have just jumped right in that conversation and be like, hey bud, what are you talking about? They agreed to being filmed when they got that job, when they got hired. So I'm saying it now in case they see this video. They agreed to being filmed and recorded by the public whom they serve the day that they applied for and got accepted for that job. That's how it works. And I feel like this guy is out here to get my license plates. I'm probably just being paranoid. Uh, the uh, construction guy has been on his phone. Halfway following me, halfway looking at the grass. Anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, come on, man, give me a break. <laughs> Jeez. Ugh. SMH. SMDH. All right, City Hall's next, guys. City Hall. City Hall is next. We're going, we're doing it. Guys, this is the Thurston County Courthouse, and I believe that this is the law enforcement only parking area for it. So I want to try and go into the main lobby and see what gives, record some publicly available information for public dissemination. Citations. What a nuisance. What a nuisance. Voting center. Oh, I don't want to go in there. I already know the rules on that. You do not interfere with voting. Period. Not even the First Amendment. Um, Trump's voting rights. That is the absolute. Is it Bullworth? Starwork? Starbork? Star... What am I trying to say? What's that word? That is the absolute foundation of democracy is um, voting. So you do not mess around with voting. They spent a lot of money on this welcome sign. And then they just throw some arbitrary law in there. If you look up that law, it probably talks about not using too many napkins when you're eating dinner. gun signs around. Mm, someone set off the uh, someone set off the alarm.
Hey John, maybe hand these out at vet court? Paul, smiley face. Hi right, John, if you didn't get that message, now you did. Maybe you should hand those out at vet court, just FYI. Wow guys, look at that. Look at these ducks, man. They are living the duck dream. They are living the dream. Look at them swan diving. Got their feet all up. Down in there working on those fish. Feet up, head is done completely underwater. Not a care in the world. And look at that scenery. I mean, whoa, Bigfoot. Hello. How you doing? This is so cool. Look at these colors. And then, get ready for it. Wait for it. Boom! State Capitol building. Ah, there it is. Ta-da! You guys remember what I was saying about statues of children outside of government buildings? Yeah. Are they just... Is that just like we're innocent without children or is there something else going on? You tell me. I just find it interesting that like most government buildings... I shouldn't say most, I should say a lot of them have statues of children out front. 